Okay. So good afternoon from Ontario time at 12.01 p.m. Good morning to those joining from us out west. Uh, today, NACO is hosting a product demonstration webinar with our trading partner, DeWalt. Uh, today, we have Matt Beal, Louise Young, and Steve Wooden from DeWalt joining us today for their demonstrations. Um, I will now pass it over to the team. If you guys want to start your presentations, and then uh, we can jump right into it. Sure. So I'm just going to share my screen here and make sure I share the sound as well. Okay. Hello, everybody. Good, good morning. Good afternoon. My name is Louise Young. I am the commercialization manager for the construction hand tool segment at Stanley Black & Decker. So you can see across the bottom of the screen there, uh, all of the brands that um, are encompassed. So today I'm going to walk through a few different categories of our new product. I'm excited to, um, to have this opportunity to present. So thank you for having me. So I'm going to kick off with electronic tools and really across the DeWalt laser range, we have products that span the construction process from start to finish. So this includes rotary, line laser, spot lasers, as well as laser distance measurers. This year, we're excited to launch a brand new program of dual voltage DeWalt lasers. So these products accept both 12 and 20 volt max DeWalt lithium ion battery platforms, which provide the user with enhanced range and run times. So I'm gonna dive into this a little bit. So just a little bit of background and insights into why you would select a DeWalt laser. Greenbeam has really been the up and coming technology over the past, call it, three to five years. The color green falls directly in the center of the color spectrum. So it's therefore the most visible color to the human eye. We're just attracted and drawn to it. And you can see um, the letters that are written out there in the color spectrum, just how visually appealing the green is and how it really jumps out in the center. So green lasers offer visibility that's up to four times more visible than red, particularly in bright or high lighting environments. So the green beam operates at a higher frequency than red and therefore it draws more power on the unit. This is where using a rechargeable battery platform like 12 or 20 volt really comes into play. And it means replacing your batteries less often and eliminating the waste and the cost of buying standard alkaline batteries. So for example, a professional user that's running a line laser or spot laser day in, day out, and might be buying four AA batteries a day at a pack of approximately $4, um, sorry, a cost of approximately $4 per pack, and call it 200 work days a year, that's $800 a year that you're spending on batteries. So it really adds up quickly and it's obviously a huge cost. So the investment upfront in a rechargeable battery platform, especially if it's one that works with your existing 20 volt power tools, very quickly pays itself back and it starts to save you money. So a final point here, um, the DeWalt lasers are all drop test approved. And I have a little video here to show you how we do this. So we set up a six foot drop test and every product that goes through the plant is tested to this spec. So it's really guaranteed tough living up to the DeWalt name and also comes with our DeWalt power tool warranty, which is the 90 day money back guarantee, one year of full service, and three years of limited warranty. So when you compare that with some of the competitive product, for example, Bosch, they're limited at a 30 day money back guarantee and a two year warranty. So you're really getting peace of mind knowing that the investment um, that you're making is going to work for you. So I was speaking about green beam and this graph really illustrates how much higher the visibility is on green beam. The photo in the center really is the standout. It shows you a great in-use comparison of really how bright green beam is and how visible it remains even once you start to get into a longer range distance and a run in visible uh, bright light conditions um, within an industrial application, for example. So really pops and stands out. So 
So what we've done with the new program is take a lot of our end user feedback and build it into solutions that are going to help our end users do their job more efficiently. So taking our knowledge of green beam technology and combining it with our end users most sought after battery platform in the 20 volt max. The new laser lineup, as I mentioned, accepts both DeWalt 12 and 20 volt batteries. So great flexibility there. It features fine adjust right here. And I'll demonstrate that in a second. And it also has a locking pendulum to protect the inner workings of the laser during transit. So I'm going to turn this on and, get, and give a little bit of a live demo here. I know it's a little bit difficult over Zoom, but I'll do the best that I can. So this is the toggle on and off to unlock the workings of the laser. So they're fully protected when the laser is cased in in transit. It's very simple, single push button operation. So you can select the lines uh, that work for your application and turn them on and off accordingly. And there's a battery indicator here on the front of the laser as well, I'll show you after on the bottom of the laser. So even if you're working overhead, you can still identify if you have power remaining on your laser. The fine adjust, so the laser can be used by actually turning the laser itself on its bracket to get close to your application. And then you can dial the laser in to really make it very precise for your particular need and application. So you're literally turning a tiny little movement at a time. The laser accepts, as I mentioned, 12 volt max DeWalt batteries and 20 volt max DeWalt batteries from two amp hour up to an eight amp hour battery. So you can put a very large high capacity battery in here to enhance your runtime. Uh, right now I'm using a five amp hour battery and with the five amp hour, I can expect to get about 40 plus hours of runtime. So pretty much a full uh, week of runtime on the five amp hour. If you were running uh, a two amp hour battery on the three by 360, you could expect to get 10 plus hours. So more than a full weekday, or sorry, more than a full work week, work day, sorry, pardon me. Um, all of the diodes are fully housed to protect them as well. And it's compatible with both quarter inch, which would be your camera tripod type of thread and five eighths inch construction tripod. So within the program, we offer the three by 360 laser that I showed. I'll just take it off and demonstrate a couple of the features up close. So that battery indicator that, are, indicator that I mentioned is right there on the bottom of the laser. So if you're working overhead, you can easily just reach up with a click of a button, see how much you have left on your battery. There's the dual thread. And then you can kind of get a feel for um, the overall size and style of the laser. This is a brand new bracket that we've designed, which uses neodymium magnets, which are very strong and can hold the additional weight of a high capacity 20 volt battery. So we also have launched a cross-line version and two combination laser SKUs that incorporate both the cross-line as well as either a two-spot to give you your up and down plumb dots or a full five-spot version, which would give you the various 90 degree reference points. Every laser comes in a full DeWalt T-Stack case with foam inside, um, an extendable bracket for flexible mounting options, as well as the target card. And then the kitted versions would come with a two amp hour battery, as well as a 20 volt charger, or for any users that are already on the 20 volt platform and just need the laser and not the batteries, then we offer bare tools within each of the SKUs. And just to dive a little deeper into some of the usage benefits of the tool, uh, the images that are shown here on this particular slide uh, indicate how we've widened the diode window on the laser. So you can see in the bottom image there that we've been able to reduce the shadows and improve the visual side span versus all other cross-line SKUs. So the field view is 50% wider than Milwaukee. Uh, the 12 and 20 volt lasers are also detector compatible. So you can purchase the DeWalt detector separately and extend your range up to 165 feet. So great working range on the laser itself.
In summary, the new 12 and 20 volt max lasers deliver enhanced runtime, 10 hours or a full workday of runtime on a two amp hour battery. Uh, that's exceeding the competitive seven and a half hours on a two amp hour. Uh, we offer full rotation on the fine adjust mechanism. So you can actually use the fine adjust to dial the head completely from one side of the laser to the other. Whereas the Milwaukee SKU, you have to set the laser manually and then you have a plus or five minus degree dial capability. Once you exceed the five degrees, you cam out and you can't adjust any further. You have to manually go back to the laser reset and then you can get your plus or minus again from there. Our DeWalt laser also gives three and a half inches of track clearance so that you're not impeding the beam um, versus two and a half inches on the Milwaukee SKU. And finally, we ship with uh, the system case. So it comes kitted in foam in the T-Stack. No added cost there to be compatible with your DeWalt storage system versus the Milwaukee unit, which you would have to purchase the pack out separately. So all of this adds up to a really great value to the end user. Okay, so with that, I'm going to move on to tough tapes. So I'm pleased to introduce our new DeWalt Tough Series tape measures. These tapes set a new standard for tough. They offer 17 feet of max reach, so it's an industry leading reach, and they're built to withstand a 100 foot drop. I'm also excited these new tapes feature double sided print, which is a feature that is a first for our Stanley Black and Decker tapes program on this tape. So that offers better readability across different applications, um, as well as these tapes have a removable magnet. So I'm going to show you a couple of visuals on the next slide that help to demonstrate some of these features. Oh, there you can see the removable magnet in action. Really helps you to clip on for HVAC applications or steel stud applications. And then if you don't want the added slight weight um, when you're working with the tape of the magnet, you can just pop that off and it's fully removable. So you can store it in your belt, your pouch, your toolbox, etc. Then if you need it, you just pop that right back on, push it down and you're ready to go. So our engineering team set up a drone to demonstrate the new tapes uh, and drop testing and also some competitive tapes onto concrete from 50 feet, 100 feet, and, and even up to 150 feet. So I'll play this video here to show you the results from the 50 foot drop. So the DeWalt samples you can see across the top here all survived and were perfectly usable. The Milwaukee stud tapes, as well as the wide blade tapes, all failed. Uh, they would not retract after the drop test. And the Lufkin tapes shown at the bottom were unusable with broken blades. So on the right-hand side of the screen, we set up a rig to extend the tapes out to their max reach to mimic the motion of an end user having the tape on a job site fully extended. So you can see here the DeWalt blade offers superior rigidity when it's extended. All the other tapes break while the DeWalt one continues to stand out. So a couple of demos there to hopefully give you an indication of just how much added robustness we've put into this team. Head to head with Milwaukee, you saw in the videos, the Tough Series tape offers 17 feet of straighter, more rigid standout. We offer a hundred foot drop test rating to offer enhanced durability and life for the tape as well as the removable magnet. So the new Tough Series tapes are available now in store and online in sizes from 16 feet to 35 feet. So I'm gonna move on to knives and we have some really great innovation in Lennox. 
Uh, if you're familiar with the Lennox brand, you know that Lennox is renowned for its world-class cutting capabilities. And what we have done is work to enhance that into the hand tool lineup specifically. So this is the new Lennox fast snap knife, we're calling it. It's a hybrid style, really, of the best features from utility knives, as well as the snap-off functionality that specifically the Canadian market has, has known to uh, been known to love. So there's no tools required here for blade snapping. It's an easy to use integrated mechanism to prevent unsafe blade snapping and discharge on the job site. So as I mentioned, it's the first knife with a simple and one-handed mechanism built in to snap the blade. So I'm going to play a quick video. Uh, we went to a job site, we gave an end user a competitive knife, which has a separate snapper that clips into the back of the knife that you can remove and snap the blade. And we gave the end user the Lennox knife. And we didn't provide any instructions on either, we just asked the end user to snap the blade. Okay, yeah. Okay. So you can see there um, with the competitive knife, it was it was difficult to understand how to use the snapper. The end user actually shattered the blade when they were snapping it, which resulted in some fragments of the blade being loose. Um, obviously a hazard as well as, you know, you, you can end up with blade waste that way because you're snapping in between the segments. Um, with the Lennox knife, it's very simple to use. There's a line that indicates where you push the blade up to that line and line it up there. And then there's this one-handed button on the top that's red. You're going to lift that up, push up, and you can hear the snap there. Clip it back in place, and you'll see that the segment is actually retained by an integrated magnet in the nose of the knife. And then at that point, you can remove the segment with a finger. You can remove it with a plier or a gloved hand, um, depending on the application and sort of where you're using the knife and what disposal you have available to you. Uh, so it just really prevents needing any secondary tool. You don't need a plier, you don't need a surface to snap against. It prevents segments or shards from going flying and make sure you just snap one segment and get full use of every of the eight segments that come on a snap off blade. So when we compare this knife to some other competitive SKUs, you can see it's the only tool that has the fully integrated snapper built into the knife itself. It's also the only tool that has the integrated magnet in the nose to keep the blade segment safe and secure for um, disposal. And we're excited about its robust grip. So it brings that utility knife feel into the snap off assortment. So these knives will be, will be available um, later this fall in store. We're also introducing a lineup of Lennox trade knives. So there is a utility knife, an insulation knife, and a duct knife that will be available. They all ship with a sheath so that you can keep your blade protected and safe and sharp. And they all feature a through tang stainless steel blade. So the, the blade goes right through to the end of the knife. You can actually see the steel there inside the lanyard hole. So that's one full piece of stainless. The duct knife will feature a double-sided blade as well with a serrated edge um, so that you can use it for a variety of materials. And the insulation knife, I have, I don't have a sample of the duct knife here, I apologize, but the insulation knife you can see really has some great length to it. So ideal for cutting bats as well as uh, foam board insulation. We're 
We're also launching a new hawkbill knife. So this is a folding style knife. So it's nice and compact, easy to keep in a pouch or a pocket. Also has a belt clip to keep it nice and handy. So basically an integrated thumb stud means it's very easy to flip this knife open, use it for uh, wire stripping, for example, um, on all different types of applications. And then it has a bi-material grip and very easy to press in there and fold the knife back up for secure storage. So this is a nice option for electrical applications as well. This knife has some pretty cool functionality. Um, it, it's the auto load retractable utility knife. So basically what this does is house the blades in the knife, in the knife and there is no blade change required by you. There's a little flip down window here that you load two blades into, very simple. Push them back up into the body of the knife. And then when you're ready, you can see right now I'm in the, I'm in the out position, but there's no blade out because I haven't loaded this. So I loaded my two blades. You're gonna pull back the slider and then you're gonna push it forward and there's your blade. So it loads the blade for you from the cartridge. If you use this blade and you find that it's dull, very simple to press the, the simple push button with your thumb, remove this blade. And now I'm ready for a new one. I'm gonna do the same thing, pull it back, and there's my blade again. So very simple, there's no need to carry loose blades on the site, there's no need to carry loose blades in your pouch, you've got two ready to go loaded in your cartridge, um, and this is also a folding knife, so you can keep this compact pocket pouch, lots of different applications, very handy, and uh, away you go for under $20. The final product that I'm going to talk about is the new Lennox retractable utility knife. So this is really a pro focused utility knife. It's a, a bottom blade storage and there's room in here to hold 10 blades. So again, you're getting that ease of use knowing that you've got your blades ready to go on the site and you don't have to carry loose blades with you. The nice thing about this knife is that it's compatible with the Lennox four notch blades. So if you're not familiar with these, this is what the blade looks like as opposed to a traditional utility blade, which would have two notches. This gives you more flexibility when you're loading the blade, you can load it so that it's actually sticking out farther from the knife and you get an extra amount of cutting surface there on the blade. And then this knife has been designed that it can still fully retract that blade even when it's at the extended position. So it has that capability to house at the full height. So again, a really nice pro-oriented utility knife, very strong and robust grip, even with a gloved hand um, for under $20 with your blade storage integrated. So with that, I will pass things over to my colleague, Steve Wooden. Um, and if there are any questions, Brian, I can address those now or after. Yes, thank you very much, Louise. Um, I do have a couple of questions here. Uh, first question, going back to the tape measures. Uh, oh, sorry, you I think you're frozen, Brian. Maybe we'll pass it over to Steve and circle back for the questions. Yes, if you can hear me, we can pass it over to Steve. Oh, I think Brian's back. Sorry, no. Brian, we lost you for a second there. Hey, can you hear me now? Yes. yes. Okay, perfect. Um, we can pass it over to Steve and then we can uh, start q and Sure. Okay. Well, thank you very much. Uh, my name is Steve Wooden. I am a commercialization manager for uh, Stanley Black & Decker, uh, and I cover off uh, the fastening as well as saws and woodworking. Today, I am really excited to, uh, to, to share with you one of our new products that will be released uh, within the next uh, month or so. Um, this is our, our cable stapler, which has been designed uh, specifically for the residential construction industry. Uh, and, and specifically the, the Romex cable installation.
So this is the DCN 701 20 volt cable stapler, as well as the DRS 18100 one inch insulated cable staple. So first what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of walk through the residential construction industry and provide some insight into the competition uh, as well as the application. So as you know, this is primarily a manual application. Fastening methods would include a hammer and a small percentage of uh, installers would use a manual hand stapler. There are a variety of staples that can be used, including your full metal, plastic insulated, uh, as well as the Romex clips. Work is often done in low lit areas and limited access to power and a considerable amount of time on ladders. This application covers off the residential electricians, home builders, security system installers, and DIYers. End users experience levels range from novice to seasoned pros, apprentices to master electricians, and everything in between. Our research found that one in five electricians have tried the hand stapler, but find it to be inconsistent, slow, and labor intensive. The majority of electricians use a hammer and pouch. The reason for this is cost, ease of use, and the control they have during installation. For a brief period, the Halex Quick Strap stapler was available in the market. The Halex Quick Strap was the only automated solution available in the market. The Quick Strap exited the market in 2016 because it was too heavy, slow rate of fire, lacked depth adjustment, and had limited visibility and placement within the market. This was a perfect opportunity for Stanley Black & Decker to create a powered, lightweight solution for the industry. When looking at the type of cables used in this application, roughly 94% of the cable installed in a house is Romex. Coax, Cat5, MC make up the remaining cables used in a house. 14 gauge often has the longest runs and covers the majority of the house, including bedrooms and lights. At an average of 2,000 square foot, uh, sorry, an average 2,000 square foot home will have approximately 4,000 linear feet of Romex cable. So now that we've covered off the application and the tools used for installation, I wanna walk you through our solution. This is the DCN701. This is part of the MEP product expansion for Stanley Black & Decker, and is still the only automated option available in the market. Offering a compact and lightweight design with unique built-in cable guide and an intuitive depth adjustment. It provides consistent power with a three staple per second rate of fire and supports a proprietary staple that, been, that has been approved for most Romex combinations, including single and double stack. With one 20 volt, two amp hour battery, an end user will get approximately 1500 plus shots with one charge. Weighing in at 5.6 pounds, it is light enough to be used all day and is under eight inches, which fits most installation areas. It comes with a top mounted LED to illuminate the work surface, two finger trigger for comfort, fire, for comfort firing the tool in any position, handle mounted motor for a better center of gravity and ensuring the tool is small enough to fit in those tight spaces. The tool was designed with a unique cable guide that recognizes the cable height and adjusts the depths of drive automatically, ensuring the cable is not damaged during installation. The moving cable guide helps the end user easily line up shots and prevents damage to the cable during fire. The contact trip recognizes the cable's height from the work surface and automatically adjusts the depth to prevent the overdriving. For the tool to actuate, the cable guide and the contact trip need to, uh, need to be in contact in two areas of the material. If both points are not correctly lined up, the tool will not fire. So the nose itself, which is right here, is pressed against the work surface and also prevents the end user from putting too much pressure and uh, overriding the safety me mechanism. The nose is fixed relative to the tool body. The contact trip, which is this small piece here, is movable. It detects the presence of the cable and the depth of drive. And then the cable guide, which is here, 
is also movable and helps align the tool over the cable. The drive blade, which is not shown in this, uh, uh, has the maximum displacement or the drive blade ensuring no overdriving, even of the smallest cable. The key variable, of course, is the distance from the wood to the tool. As mentioned on the previous slide, for the tool to fire, the contact trip and the bottom cable guide need to maintain constant distance. If one of the two contact points is not lined up, the tool will not fire. This tool was tested on a combination of single and double stack 14-2, 12-2, 12-3, and as well as the 10-2. Tools were placed in Canada, as well as nine states in the US, including Maryland, Pennsylvania, Rhode Island, Texas, California, Oregon, Washington, Arizona, and Florida. And during this testing, we had over 100,000 staples fired by end users in the field. The engineers also included a drive blade identification marker on the staple insulator. This helps the ESA inspector to identify if the correct supporting tool was used during installation. Small indentations on the plastic insulator from the driver blade indicate the correct tool was used. Why is this important? In Canada, the CSA code specifically calls out that the supporting staple, absent of a stopper on the leg, needs to be used with the correct supporting tool that includes depth control features. This is not the case in the US. In the US, the staple can be used with a hammer for manual installation, and the UL code does not require the staple to include a stopper on the leg. The stopper just prevents the staple from being overdriven and damaging the outer sheathing of the wire. The CSA code is currently in the process of being amended, specifically CSA C22-2, 18-4, is being updated, allowing us to launch the staple in Canada. The amendment calls out that the appropriate supporting tool must be used during installation. And that is why these, uh, the driver blade indication uh, markers are, are, are so important for our market. So now that we've covered off the tool, as well as the application, I wanna cover off the staple. Specifically the specs that make it unique and how it exceeds the industry standards, giving the end users peace of mind. The DRS 18100 is a three quarter inch crown insulated staple that has a one inch long, uh, that is one inch long leg and is supported only by the DCN 701 cable stapler. It is approved for indoor use, and only comes with 540 uh, uh, count packs and case quantities of 5,400 units. The staples are galvanized wire that has, that has a specific tensile strength as specified by Stanley Black and Decker. The staple comes with an electro galvanized coating. The coating does not make it approved for outdoor use, but does help protect it from corrosion. We do mandatory che quality checks on all incoming raw materials for coating thickness and tensile strength. We require that a material certificate showing the steel grade and tensile strength tests on each of the batch of material accompanying all shipments of steel wire. This proprietary staple provides 100% marketage covered in the US, Europe, Asia, Australia, and New Zealand, and meets all code requirements. The coating on the leg of the staple is a water-based glue it adds corrosion protection as well as additional holding power. When the staple is driven into the material, the, heat, the glue heats up and creates a bond with the wood. This provides more holding force than a typical S2, S3 staple found in the market. And the holding force was also tested by UL to ensure it meets and exceeds the industry standards. This chart shows the staple has been approved for use with 14.2, to 10.3 under UL 2339. We also provide a reference on our packaging and our engineers are currently working on a 10.4 MC certification. So as you can see, our engineering and product team have put in a lot of work to ensure that this tool not only meets but exceeds the current standards. It provides the uh, features and benefits that our end users are looking for. And really, the most important, it creates the most, uh, it offers the, the first automated solution in the market. 
So what I'd like to do next is just show a quick video of this tool. And that covers off the DCN701 and DRS18100 cable staple. So at this point, I think, uh, Brian, we're, we're going to open it up for questions. We are. Thank you very much, Steve, uh, for that presentation. So uh, one question we have for you, uh, Steve, is going on to those staples. You mentioned that uh, the ones we went over were regulated for indoor use only. Do you have any staples on the market for outdoor use or more industrial use at all? Uh, not at this time, uh, but as the uh, as the stapler uh, enters the market, we are working to get other certifications. As mentioned, we're currently working with uh, UL and CSA to get the 10.4 MC certification. Mm -hmm. So as this, you know, uh, reaches the market and, and uh, we get more and more end users, we're going to open the application up more and more. So this is just kind of, the, you know, the tip of the iceberg as far as the application goes. Uh, and, and, and what we could use it for. So we're, we're excited about the, the possible future of offering, a, again, a fully galvanized uh, outdoor use. Uh, Fantastic. Uh, so on that then, Steve, I'm assuming you guys will also be looking at um, solutions that will, for outdoor, depending on climates as well, as we have more remote northern communities that uh, have different standards. Yes, absolutely. Uh, our, our team of engineers are constantly working on improving our, our current staple design. Uh, so yes, we're looking at all, all different applications um, from, from obviously north to, uh, to cold weather and, and, and right down to the south with the extreme heat and humidity. That's fantastic. Thank you very much, Steve. Uh, Louise, we do have a couple of questions for you on the products you previously talked about. Um, the first one has to do with the tape measures. Uh, when you talked about the uh, lasers, you talked about the magnets being used there and the strength of them. Would you be able to elaborate on the strength of the magnet used in the um, in new DeWalt tape measures? Sure. So the magnet is uh, strong enough to hold the weight of the tape. That's how it's designed. So basically, if you're doing an overhead application, for example, a drop ceiling, and you want to do, uh, you know, hang the tape from a grid, um, the magnet is, is designed to be more than strong enough to support the weight of the tape to, to be left free hanging. Fantastic. And the last question we have for you, uh, Louise, is moving on to the Lennox knives. Um, one thing we all know with the uh, disposable knives is the durability of the blade, um, some being weaker than, weaker, uh, weaker than others. Would you be able to elaborate on the durability of the Lennox knives and the blades being used in them? Sure. So for snap off, I think um, the question is pertaining to the Lennox knife accepts any standard 18 mil snap off blade or the equivalent in Olfa would be known as the L series. Um, that's how they refer to their 18 mil. So I guess first off the bat, you can use any blade of your choice, whether it's, you know, Lennox, DeWalt, Stanley, Olfa, Mastercraft, et cetera, as long as it's an 18 mil blade. So um, that kind of opens up, I guess, your field of preference a little bit. Um, secondly, I would say snap off blades. Um, there are three different categorizations within our, our portfolio of blades. So our basic blade would be a carbon steel, um, which is kind of your standard utility blade material. Um, Within Irwin, we have blades that are treated to, to be unbreakable. So if you bend them, for example, they don't shatter. Um, and then we have blades that, that are hardened. So there's like a, an induction hardening or a um, carbide application 
applied to the edge of the blade itself, which helps with the durability and the longevity of the blade. Um, it isn't necessarily going to change the snap ability, if you will. The blade is still going to snap off at the traditional segments. Um, so I guess from a recommendation standpoint, snap off blades are technically recommended to be used one segment at a time. Although I know in certain applications, we do see end users extending the blade, um, you know, out past maybe three or four segments because they want to cut through a thicker material. I would say that's not the manufacturer's recommended uh, application, but we do know that that is being done and we do bear that in mind when we're designing the strength of the blade to try to prevent any, you know, undue snappage. That's fantastic. I would like to give a huge shout out and thank you to the DeWalt team for joining us today in this product demonstration. Uh, any further questions or comments can always be forwarded to NATCO, myself, or to the DeWalt team. Uh, thank you, Steve, Louise, and Matt for joining us today. Thank you. Thank you, thank you so much. Bye-bye.